My current research deals with two aspects of multiple sclerosis. The first one uh, deals with the causes of the disease. Um, in particular, uh, we are studying how gene and environment interact to uh, lead to the pathologic process. And also, we are working on repurposing of registered drugs. This means that we are trying to use uh, drugs that have already been developed for different indications. But we think, uh, because of experimental data behind it, that they may work also for multiple sclerosis, and in some cases for progressive multiple sclerosis. So um, this is a particularly efficient pro process, because uh, if you have to develop a drug from the molecule to the registration for patients, it takes more than 10 years, and you spend more than $2 billion, and you may fail. And also there are many safety concerns. Therefore, if you use something that has been already registered for another indication, you cut a lot of preclinical work and a lot of costs and increase safety. So this is one strategy. May work, may not, but for sure there is some rationale behind it. I want to tell people with MS and families that uh, they don't have to be anxious and uh, add anxiety to the anxiety that they already have. I would say uh, in how much time will the scientific community solve the problem? And this is a question that has no answer. Uh, the only answer I can give is that uh, the amount of effort uh, that has been put into this problem has increased exponentially. This is all I can do and I can say. Uh, whether or not we will succeed in five, ten years, I, this is un completely unpredictable. But the certain thing is that the effort is there. Mm -hmm.